I can yeah have your foot in if you don't have your me. I wasn't actually doing the song. I was doing a parody of the. It's covered by Fair You. Uh, never mind. Let's just start the show. Now we can't make a bread pudding without duh bread. Now, if you plan on making savory bread pudding, uh, go with something like a sourdough bread. But we're making a dessert bread pudding, so go with a nice soft yeast bread. Now all I did was take a loaf of challah bread, cut it up into cubes, and let them stale. The staler the bread, the more liquid it will absorb. And let me tell you bros something, this is hella stale bread. Don't believe me? Oh yeah, it's stale. Now, if time's not on your side, just cube up the bread, stick it in a 200 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Oh, and uh, let me know down in the comment section if I should do an ASMR related episode. Good choice, let's continue. In a large bowl, add three eggs and three egg yolks. Oh, and a quick word on egg cracking. Always crack your eggs on a flat surface like this. Never crack them on the side of the bowl. You're gonna drive shrapnel up into the egg. No professional chefs ever crack their eggs on a sharp edge. Right, Gordon Ramsay? I'm cracking your eggs. <laughs> Whisk them nice and good. I probably should have done this sooner, but place a wet napkin underneath the bowl so it doesn't slip around. Because now we are going to add one cup of sugar. Scratch that. One cup of sugar as we whisk. Ah, geez, that was strong whisking. Now give me a moment for my arm to finish hurting. Follow that up with one cup of brown sugar. And yes, add it slowly, even though brown sugar is clumpy. At, next, add one cup of natural cocoa powder. It's gonna take a while for the cocoa to mix its way in, go, so go slowly at first. All right, once the cocoa is incorporated in, drizzle in three cups of heavy cream. Now, this is some really thick custard, but uh, be patient. Then follow that up with three cups of milk. Oh, and I forgot to do this at the beginning, but um, half a teaspoon of salt. One tablespoon of vanilla. Oh, and since there are no children, pregnant women, or emotionally unstable right wing relatives coming over, let's add booze. Let's finish this off with half a cup of Kahlua. Gives this a final taste test. Oh, oh, if this wasn't filled with raw eggs, I'd just drink this. And finally, let's toss our stale bread into the mixture. Make sure everything is fully coated. Now, since the bread is bone dry, it's gonna take a while for it to soak up the liquid. So be patient. Yeah, this is taking longer than I thought. I'm just gonna wrap this thing in plastic wrap and just uh, pick it up tomorrow. It's the next day. Now preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Did you kill any Saudi journalists? The number you're looking for is 170 degrees Celsius. All right, the overnight soak seems to have done the trick. Now on to the next step. Grab yourself a nine by 13 baking dish. Link in the description if you need one. Spray it with non-stick spray. Now let's layer in our bread. 
while simultaneously sprinkling in some chocolate chips. So how many chocolate chips should we add? Half a cup? One cup? Add as much as your heart desires. Please, no more. I still haven't recovered from the Manly Benedict episode. And just kind of alternate between the two. All right, compact the bread pudding as much as you can. Once the oven comes up to temperature, stick our bread pudding in and let it cook for 45 minutes. Be tracer. I'm already Tracer. What about Widowmaker? I'm already Widowmaker. And finally, our bread pudding is complete. But one question remains. Was it worth stealing the bread so much that it took forever to soak up the liquid, causing me to delay the episode by a day? Let me answer that for you. Yes. This has been Jay's Sutton Kitchen. From CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning at this time. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Please subscribe so we can monetize our videos already. I'm gonna need a triple bypass if he continues to make unhealthy crap.